In this presentation, we will take a look at payroll forms, forms 941 and W2, W3 after processing a payroll with a S Corporation medical insurance item that had been included. Comparing this to payroll forms prior to processing a payroll, which included the medical insurance item within QuickBooks. There we For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. We are on the home page. We currently have the open windows open. You can open the open windows, go into the view drop down, and selecting the open windows list. We're going to go up top to the employees section. We're going to go through the payroll forms and process the payroll forms. So employees drop down payroll tax forms and W-2 forms and process payroll forms. That's going to take us into our employee center. We are in the paid version. We're going to process these payroll forms. We're going to take a look at the 941 first. Double clicking on the 941. We are in the fourth quarter at this point. So we're going to say the fourth quarter will end 12 31 one eight. So that's December 31st, 2018, the year that we are working in. We're going to select that item. We should have two payrolls that are going to be or two paychecks in this quarter or two payroll periods that are in this quarter. Now three paychecks. I'm going to select next item down here. We're in the fourth quarter that's being processed. We're going to go down and see what numbers are being generated from QuickBooks. We can see here that the taxable social security is different from the wages FIT up top, that being by the 401k contributions. And then we can take a look at this number and try to think about where does that number come from in terms of total wages for the quarter. We have two employees at this time. We had three payroll paychecks that have been processed, at least for one of our employees and one paycheck for the other employee. Our original employee, we had three paychecks at $4,062.50 or $12,187.50. We then had adjustments for life insurance, vision, and health savings account. And those th those added up to our $13,137.50 for our first employee. Then we have our new employee with the one salaried payroll, not including life insurance, vision, and health savings gives us the 41666.67. If we add those two together, we're going to get our 54804. So those are going to be our social security wages, which we can then multiply times the 0.124 to give us the social security amount, as well as the multiplying times 0.029 to get the Medicare amount. These then will match if we add up all the paychecks for this time period for our two employees three for the first employee we have one for the second employee that we have just added to the payroll if we were to add up the employer and employee portion of the the payroll calculation note that only the employee portion will be in the pay stub but we'll have both sides when we process the payroll then we would get to these numbers this number here this 9799 would be whatever we calculated within the system because QuickBooks would generate that number and there's no way for us to kind of recalculate that here because it's a progressive tax. If we scroll back down, then we have the totals here. We haven't been processing the liabilities for this example. So we're going to close this back out and close this back out. Let's take a look at the W-2 and now the W-3. Now that we have two employees, the W-3 will now differ being the summary of the two W-2s. Going to double click on the W-2 and W-3, change the date from 2017 to 2018, and OK. OK. So this will be our information. I'm going to go ahead and review and edit. And we'll say next, next, next. And here is our information. So we have, this is for the entire year now. So if we're thinking about our entire year of information. And this is Judy Jones. We only have one paycheck so far for Judy Jones. So here we have the 40,166, which is different than the 41,666.67. This amount then is the uh, total payroll on the gross pay on the paycheck. The difference between those two, once again, will be the employee portion of the 401k and the S corporation insurance. So that's going to be the difference here. 
federal income tax, the Social Security and Medicare, that's being the employee portion of that retirement plan is checked off. Here is where we have the S Corp MP. That's going to be our S Corporation item that we had set up for the owner of the S Corporation reporting that 2000. And then we have the California SDI and then the California withholding and wages down here. Our prior employee, if we go to the next employee, then this is going to be uh, Anthony, our employee that we've had for the year here. And so we've got the 468750 differing from the 44. Uh, 5750 by the 2030. So if we were to subtract those two out, we would say, okay, 46087.5 minus 44057.5 gives us the 2030. That's the employee portion of the Social Security. And then if we wanted to get to the this number, the 468750, uh, partial part of that difference is C and W. If we take a look at the calculations here, we're going to say, I'm going to hide this. We had this amount per paycheck, 11 paychecks so far. They've all been the same. So 44,687.50 would be gross pay. Then we had the adjustment for life insurance, which I believe are five periods or a $1,000 adjustment. Vision, eight periods, uh, 200 adjustment. Health, four periods, 600. If we add all those up then, we get to the 46.8750. So that's going to be the uh, 46.8750 reported here. We can see that C and W represent the life and health savings respectively. Then we have the retirement plan has been checked off. We got the California uh, SDI and California wages and withholdings. If we go to the next item then, now we're going to take a look at the W-3 now that we have two employees and we can see that it's basically just a summary of the two employees we have so far. So we've got the 84-224 from this is just summing up the two line ones in our prior two employees. The line three and five being if we were to take our little worksheet and add those two wages up now that's the 87 754 17. So that's the 87 754 17 meaning it's going to be just adding up the w the box three for our two w2 employees as well as of course uh box five same items and uh two four and six same thing we're just going to sum up the information on the prior w2s so then we have the deferred compensation being grouped together in 12a and then we have the state wages and state income tax as well for more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info.